Can we learn more about a snare drum from a buzz roll than we can in rim shot? I think we can. Sub YouTubers, hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. And the other day I was making some content for Instagram and to be totally transparent with you, I don't put the same amount of care and love into my Instagram content as I do my YouTube videos and my website. And that's because I love YouTube and I love my website. I don't really feel that way about Instagram. So my simple idea was like, oh, it'd be really cool visually to see some snare drums being morphed from one to the next to the next, but in a buzz roll instead of a groove, which I've done many times before. So I did it. What I wasn't prepared for was how much I was going to learn about each snare drum as I was editing the video and hearing the drums back to back. You see, we're so used to hearing snare demos with a couple ghost notes, maybe a little crescendo of singles and then some backbeats. But what if we got to hear the drums true pitch constantly instead of just a one shot? So that's what I did for you guys today. I've already edited the part that you're about to see and I got to hear them all back to back. Now, all of the drums are tuned exactly the same using the TuneBot and they all have the exact same heads, which is an Aquarian single ply texture coated and they have no muffling whatsoever. So the difference in pitch and tone that you're gonna hear is only coming from the shell itself. I honestly found it really cool how much each one of these drums had its own character based off its shell properties and its dimensions, even though they were tuned the same and using the same heads. And I don't think the difference would be quite as tangible with just like a single rim shot or hearing the snare in a groove. So let's listen to 10 of my favorite snares back to back and please in the comments below, tell me what your findings were. Were you listening with headphones, with speakers, just through your laptop? Could you hear a difference? Could you not hear a difference? I wanna know everything that you felt while you were watching this video and I will chat with you guys in the comments as well. I don't know about you, but I found that to be so cool because I never get to hear a good solid buzz roll in snare demos. So now I know next time I'm checking out some snares at a store, I'll hit it, I'll cross stick it, and I'm gonna give it a buzz roll. YouTubers, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do me a massive favor and hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. That would help more drummers find this channel. But until next time, go practice.